Did you get something like this? This is what I got after 50 time steps. In this plot, we still see a wave propagating to the left and to the right, away from the source. But if you look at the amplitude, you can see the simulation is going unstable. Now your result might be slightly different than mine because unstable codes do not all go unstable in the same way. If the math order of operations, like adding, subtracting, multiplying, and so forth, is different in your code compared to mine, or because you might be using a different computer, your code might go unstable faster or slower than mine did. The important thing is that you saw your code go un unstable for this regime where s is greater than 1. If you look back at the dummy variables we used at the end of module FDTD2 to test your first code, you'll see that we effectively set s equal to 0.5 because we had set dt equal to 0.5 times dx divided by c. So now we see that we can still maintain, a stabili maintain, maintain stability if we set s to be higher than 0.5. And if s is higher, then dt is higher, and the simulation runs more efficiently because it can cover more time in seconds using fewer time steps and computational resources. So now try setting s is equal to 0.99, which is just under the current limit. This is commonly chosen for simulations so that we're not right at the current limit. So 0.99 is commonly used instead of s equal to 1.